in this video, we're just going to answer a very interesting math Olympiad question. Okay, this is a very common problem in the Olympiads. So I'm going to simplify, move step by step to help you understand exactly how you get to handle it. Okay, so stick to the end of the video. So basically, if you look at this, the left hand side, consider a case where you have to raise the power m and then raise the power n. So the rules of indices tells us that's the same as the two m times n gives us mn, right? The product is mn there. So I can also decide to exchange the two so that we have n inside and then again put the m outside. That's also the same. Okay. So with that understanding, we can now solve the question we have at hand. Now, one thing that we understand is each time you have something like that, raise the power 5, uh, you'd have to, the tip is raise both sides to the power at 5. So do the same, the power 5, the power 5. So at that point, what do you expect? So you do expect, don't misunderstand this. Remember the, the 5 there as as not raised, it's not like multiplying with a 5 in, inside, no. It's, it's multiplying by the power of this x, that's what it means. So that helps us understand this fact that we're going to have x raised to the power x to the power 5. Now the power that is x to the power 5 is now being multiplied by 5. Now equal to, now 100 is the same as 2, 10 to the power 2. So multiply by the 5. So this x is raised to the power x to the power 5 multiplied by 5. So I can decide to bring the 5 inside. And then I pull out the x to the power 5. Remember these were being multiplied. So on the other side now we have 10. 2 times 5 is 10 as well. Okay, so assuming you've understood. Just a quick recap of what we've done so far. So what we've done is this. We know that x is raised to the power x to the power 5. Now after introducing a power 5, these are multiplying. So we just swap them. Okay, 5, so it was x to the power 5 multiplied by x to the power 5. And that's how we've gotten to this point. Now at this point, we can see that x to the power 5 is matching up. This is identical to its power. And on the right hand side as well, the 10s are also identical. So that implies that since the left and the right hands are equal, x to the power 5 is equal to what? Is equal to 10. Now you can simplify that to get the value of x. So what you're supposed to do? So just find the fifth root on both sides, right? So x becomes the fifth root of, of 10. So you can simplify that using a calculator. In cases where calculator is not allowed, which is the case for most Olympiads, the question ends right there.